Let's take a look how I made this liquid gradient text here in Photoshop. This is going to be my artboard size. And for the font, I'm going to go with Humane Medium. I'm going to go and position the font at the top. And let's go to the text layer, right click, and select Convert a Shape. And from here, we're going to go and select the Direct Selection tool, which is right here. So as you can see with the Direct Selection tool, you can select the paths. So I'm going to select half of the text. And I'm going to drag it down, press and hold Shift. So you're going to isolate. And from here, I'm going to correct some of the areas. I'm going to go and select one of the paths and customize it a little bit better. You also can select more paths at one. For example, I'm going to select this area, press and hold Shift. I'm also going to select these paths and then just customize it that way. I think this looks pretty good. And now let's go and select the Smudge tool. And for the strength, I went with 40%. And all you need to do is click on the text image, click OK. So this is going to convert it into a raster image. And this way you can customize the text however you like. I'm going to speed this process up. And it looks something like this. And now we're going to go to the text layer, right click on it and select Convert a Smart Object. And let's go to Filter, a Blur Gallery and select Field Blur. I'm going to add a couple of more dots here, here and at the bottom corners. And I'm also going to decrease the blurriness somewhere around 6, 7. I'm going to go with 8 only at the corners. And I'm going to go to the center and this one I'm going to increase it a little bit more. Look at that. I'm also going to bring these in. Click OK. Let's go back to filter, noise, add noise. And make sure to check monochrome. I'm going to increase the noise a little bit more. Maybe at 10. Click OK. And about least I'm going to go to the adjustments, select gradient map. Click on the gradient. We're going to fill this guy up. I'm going to make this black. Click OK. I'm going to add another handle here. Click, recolor it. This is going to be red. Next is going to be yellow. And then I'm going to add purple. And let's go and add some cyan. This blue is actually pretty nice. Click OK. And I'm going to add another blue. Click OK. And I'm going to arrange it a little bit more. Click OK. If you want to increase the blurriness, all you need to do is go back here to the blur gallery, double click on it. And here you can go and manipulate the blur even more. Check this out. Now it looks even better. Click OK. And that's how you make this liquid gradient map text here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.